The new kill feed icons really help to describe how a death has occurred, depicting whether the killer was flashed, whether it was a no-scoped kill or not, and if it was done blind through smoke. And don't forget we already had a few icons before this update as well. It wasn't long before Alex T over on Reddit set out to tell the most descriptive story that he could. He achieved this. That is, while blinded, S. Gibb, with flash assistance from Cortonix, used an orb, no scoped, fired through smoke and a wall with a headshot, killing Tawa. That's a long message, but there's a way of making it even longer, but not officially. In deathmatch mode, you dominate another player by killing them four times in a row, and this adds yet another icon. The problem is, in deathmatch you can't get grenades. Now I couldn't possibly condone cheating, so Tuklix Philip did it instead by giving himself a flash and smoke grenade in deathmatch mode. I then killed this poor bot four times to start dominating him, and here's how to get the most kill feed icons you can. The victim stands behind a wall. I use a sniper, but don't scope in. Two clicks Philip then comes along, smokes everything up and flashbangs everybody. And then I fire. The tragedy of this is that the person achieving this kill feed will never see the kill, but other players on the server might. And it'll be a nice surprise, once the flash has subsided, to see this in the top right corner of your screen. Dominating, while blinded, 3 clicks Philip, with flash assistance from 2 clicks Philip, used an AWP, no scoped, fired through smoke and a wall, with a headshot, killing bot Tony. You might wonder if 2 clicks Philip shooting the bot first would make it longer, since then he'd get a kill assist as well. But doing that overrides the flash assist, meaning one less icon appears. Valve please fix. And maybe the order of this kill feed could be rearranged to tell a more coherent story. But I do like how the bullets all line up. So that's the longest kill feed possible. For now. It's Big Bad over on Reddit suggested a jump shot symbol. And I propose a 360 degree icon so CSGO can finally have a 360 no scope jumping kill. Like the one achieved by Stewie2k at the beginning of this year. And if you'd like to thank Tawa for his sacrifice, you can check out his YouTube channel just here. Have fun.